my goodness. Some of you guys are acting like I drop kicked someone's puppy. I hate that I'm addressing something that happened November of last year, but at this point I have tried to sit silent. I refuse to allow someone to drag my name through the mud and manipulate a story that was truly one of the most hurtful things that has ever happened to me in my entire life. All right, so this TikTok drama has taken an unexpected turn and is getting messier by the day. We've got two NYC influencers, Hal Kate and Sophia Lord, who are at each other's throats over a guy, Reed, who just happens to be Hell's ex and now, according to Sophia, the man she's absolutely smitten with. But before we dive into the nitty gritty, let's roll it back to where this all began. Because trust me, you'll need the full context to understand just how wild things have gotten. And yes, we'll be spilling the tea with all the receipts, quotes, and some jaw-dropping revelations that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about influencer drama. It all started about 9 months ago. Hal Kate, a TikTok influencer with 1.3 million followers, was happily sharing her life with her boyfriend Reed. But things took a sharp turn when their relationship hit the rocks last November. Like, whatever, I've already tried to leave him, I don't give a shit. But, um, it does, like, suck because people keep being like, oh, like, don't worry. Like, like, what time heals everything. Like, one day, like, you won't even, like, you'll go weeks and realize you haven't even thought about him. And I'm like, that's almost what's upsetting to me is, like, like i don't want to not know him as a person like it does make me sad so be like oh i have no idea what's going on in his life like I, we're just going to continue to like grow further and further apart and it's like i obviously could not be friends with him because you can't be friends with somebody you love like that would be miserable but it is just like upsetting like to be like okay just not only did i lose my boyfriend but i lost like, my friend <laughs> i think when we first got together it was very fast paced and we kind of just met and started dating right away and i had kind of just moved to the city also so I was still kind of figuring out who I was um, after college and so I think when it started getting really serious between us like I just need to take a step back and just do my own thing and I learned a lot about myself during that time and Good. And Reed was spotted on a date just weeks later with none other than Sophia Lord, a fellow TikToker with 800,000 followers. The internet, being the investigative entity it is, quickly picked up on this and hell broke loose. Hal, feeling betrayed, especially because she considered Sophia a friend, did not hold back. She took to a TikTok to express her feelings, accusing Reed of homie hopping and calling out Sophia for what she saw as a blatant violation of the unspoken girl I've code. I've jokes before about homie hopping. I've, I've dabbled in it myself. I've done it maybe once or twice. But when I had like homie hopped, it has been like I hooked up with a guy one singular time. He wanted nothing to do with me. There was no chemistry, nothing there. And then months later, I maybe hooked up with one of his friends. You are going to homie hop not even three weeks later after our nine month long relationship where we spent every single day together you essentially lived at my apartment you had not spent a single night at your apartment since i moved into this one on august 1st and you're going to homie hop that's just what's so bizarre to me also that people started making videos about it and i tried to handle it offline i texted the girl multiple times and she has not responded to me which fair i wouldn't respond to either. and yeah i would consider her a friend not super close friend i do not think that she owes me that much loyalty honestly again we'll get into all of it but like she's not my best friend by any means and she is a person that i guess technically it, it would not be the worst thing on the planet for her to go on a date with my ex if it wasn't given this decision no Sophia's stance? Well, she claims they were never friends, just acquaintances from a few influencer events. But here's where it gets interesting. Hal shared that the very night before Sophia's date with Reed, they were hanging out together, having drinks and sharing stories. According to Hal, Sophia was already planning her date with Reed during this time, and if true, this is where the lines between friendship and betrayal start to blur. What is the most hurtful is that, well, Mindy was with me on Thursday night. Uh, she went, well, I was standing there, obviously did not know this. She was going through my Instagram following to search his name, click his profile, message him, and ask him on a date. And what's more hurtful is they, they've met probably multiple times, I don't know, like, just very much in passing, like, oh, this is like, hi, whatever, like, you know, and, 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 and so it was very hurtful that they were messaging about me. He, I think he had asked something along the lines of, I did not read the messages, this is just kind of getting this 
this girl. I don't know who this girl is. She made a video about you. I know that I'm right. I think you did go out with her ex-boyfriend. I did. How did what you experienced differ from what she thought was happening? Like, what did she like? As the weeks went on, the drama simmered until Hal's followers caught wind of the dead and took sides, most of them rallying behind Hal, labeling Sophia as a fake friend and a snake. Fast forward to this year and things seem to have quieted down until they did not. In April, Hal shocked everyone by posting a TikTok revealing that she and Reed were back together. The backlash was immediate, with many of her followers questioning her decision. Still, Hal stood her ground, explaining that they had worked through their issues and were happier than ever, but the peace was short-lived. Sophia, sensing an opportunity to reignite the drama, posted a three-part TikTok series where she recounted her death with Reed in excruciating detail. She described everything from their conversation to the way he kissed her with a clear intention of rubbing salt in Hal's wounds. I'm going to start the story at the date with this man who is very sweet. He lives about 10 minutes away from me in New York and he took me out to this beautiful, beautiful restaurant and we had such a great date that we wanted to get drinks afterwards. We got drinks at this really, really nice hotel lobby and it was so much fun and I genuinely remember being like so excited. I don't go on a lot of first dates so it's really rare that you get a good first date. I remember on the first date we were about to leave the bar so we both went to the restroom and he turned around and grabbed me and kissed me and I remember like I, I had butterflies like never before. He was super talkative, super fun and so sweet and very masculine. Everything about him was wonderful. At the end of the date, he put me in an Uber home and then I went to bed and I was just smiling ear to ear. I wake up in the morning and I'm so excited to look at my phone because I know that this man is gonna text me. Like I know we both enjoy the date. But instead, I look at my phone and I see a message from a random number. The message said, Hi, this is Haley. I'm getting DMs that you were on a date with my ex last night, LOL. And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, Sophia started responding to comments with even more shade, making snarky remarks about Hal's relationship and even mispronouncing Hal's name in what many saw as a deliberate attempt to mock her. Oh my goodness, some of you guys are acting like I drop kicked someone's puppy. I went on a date with a guy that was single. I guess the paparazzi cared and was commenting on his ex-girlfriend's stuff. Commenting on her post saying that me, Sophie Lacour, was with her ex-boyfriend. Now, this drama might have started as just another TikTok scandal, but it's evolved into something much bigger. A full-blown social media war that has captivated the internet. Hal, despite being the original victim in this scenario, has tried to take the high road posting positive content and trying to steer the conversation away from the negativity. But Sophia's refusal to let the drama die has kept the story alive. And with each new post, the lines between who's right and who's wrong have blurred even further. What's clear though is that both influences have suffered from this fallout. I want to know what you think about all this situation. Do you think Harl and Sophia were ever really friends? Was Sophia out of line or is she just standing up for herself? And what about Reed? Should he be held more accountable for these for his actions? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's get this discussion going. Also, if you're into deep dives like this one, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on the latest drama breakdowns. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. to keep continuing to hang out with me. They went on their date on Friday to a very public place. People had seen them and Saturday morning I woke up and I checked my comments on TikTok and everyone was telling me that Sophia and Reed had been on a date together the night before. Before I've said a word online, drama pages are making videos about it. My comments are flooded with this rumor that wasn't actually a rumor, it was true. Here is where I take full accountability and you can hate on me all you want for this. In a moment of pure heartbroken reaction, this was my first boyfriend, first love breakup. If you know, you know that fucking sucks. The worst I've ever felt in my entire life. It was the lowest my mental state has ever been. I look back on that time and I don't even recognize who I am. I felt it was a huge slap in my face, knife in my back, that a girl that I've been vulnerable with 24 hours prior would do something so calculated and intentional and hate that way towards me. I have a problem with having a parasocial relationship with my followers, thinking I always owe them an explanation and they need to know what's going on in my life 24-7. I have an oversharing problem. I made a video explaining the situation. While everything I said was valid, at the end of the day, it didn't need to be online. I wish I didn't bring it online. Within 24 hours of the video being posted, I did take it down because I did not realize how many people would care. Obviously, there were screen recordings. People were already talking about it. Of course, she is allowed to share her side of the story, but she already has. She created a whole podcast to talk about it back in like January 
January or February. If you cannot see that this was dug back up, we are coming up on a year ago that this happened. If you cannot see that right now this was dug back up just in an attempt to get views and engagement, which I guess worked. I don't know what to tell you. People were shitting on my relationship and she dogpiled on with a manipulated story. At the end of the day, it was never about the date. It was about everything and all of the context that surrounds it. Why is the man not being held accountable? He always, always has been. I handled that offline and I do not need to get into the nitty gritty of why I chose to forgive him. If you want to hate on me for getting back together with a man who wronged me, go for it. I've heard it so many times and I take it on the chin every single time. At the end of the day, I know the truth. This is the truth and I don't care what is made up or said back. This needs to be done and I am never talking about this again.